is more like mid-September than mid-November. The historic Yale as we enter week nine of the season and Princeton to the air on first down. And they will pick up a first down on the toes. Second and long for the Tigers. Stentrum completes nearly 70% of his passes. That one got the job done out to the 40-yard line. It'll set up third and about eight. This time on the third and long. As Stentrum steps into it, drills it, and completes it over the middle. That's Yoshivas. And Yoshivas has got a big gainer in it. But the offense has been a big part of that, too, protecting it. That one is deflected and <laughs> dirty. Handoff this time to Ryan Butler. A lot of schools like to have fun with mixing things up, and uh, Yale getting into it in his team 149, and this is Butler. First down for the Tigers as the breeze kicks up, as the tropical storm got out of here, but uh, the breeze kicks up a bit from off of the drive coming up for the Tigers, and that's given to Butler. Look to throw quick, then quickly makes the decision to keep himself and grinds forward and runs for the first down. First and 10 for Stenstrom, including one last week. Hands off this time. And flag comes in. Ball is loose. Stenstrom, well, he knew where he was going the whole time and wouldn't you. Use his motion, so they end up with five receivers and the quick release on target. Yossi Vosh again. Proof example of the virtue of patience paying off if you're in a position to evaluate coaches early on in their careers. A drive. Looking into the end zone receiver fell down it's intercepted by Yale and the Bulldogs on the return out across and had 14 plays and ends with the interception in the end zone the handoff on first down goes to this week right so we got a second at about three here for Yale and it's Pittsburgher, and that's the way he runs hard with explosion but it's there's also been progression on top of it the ceiling is nowhere near been reached as grooms fires a free play situation, and they took the game. They hand off to Pitsenberger on first down, out across the 40. Up to Peterson. He's the home run hitter out of the backfield for Yale. Grooms, time, doesn't see anything he likes yet, and we'll loft it. Third and long here for the Bulldogs. Swings it out. Pitsenberger on the run with some steam. Lowers the shoulder, gets the first down into Prince. It has been shifting directions a little bit, but right now it is definitively at Yale's back as the carry on first down. On their first drive of the game, Grooms oh, does a nice job to control the snap and then fires in. Grooms with a bit of a shovel pass. And Peterson gets it, crosses the first down. Grooms and the Bulldogs. Fake to Pitsenberger, deflected and intercepted. So now both teams have got a pick on the first defensive series. Interceptions that weren't either quarterback's fault. And now Princeton's got the ball for the second time late in the first quarter. Scoreless and Butler. So Stenstrom steps, drills, it's Yossi Vosh. You could have me saying Stenstrom to Yossi Vosh on like an auto. Princeton here. And on the third down play, the handoff, grinding for it is Butler, and he... Carm Koza, the UAL Hall of Fame coach, used to call it the alum. Gets its second drive of the quarter. Pitsenberger bowls his way through the pile and then gets a few extra yards. And it's Pitsenberger again, and this time, talk about some other family connections for Princeton of the rich heritage who have continued as Yale on the short third down at the Yale Bowl with major Ivy Championship implications. Nolan Grooms will slide forward. That is what, and by leading with your head or your shoulder, absolutely not worth it on a few fronts. That pass is caught, but all tangled up. Short. As we start the second quarter, Grooms keeps himself, gets down inside. Pressure on every level of the defense. Grooms looking to throw quickly, and that is juggled incomplete. Late flag and 10 for Grooms and company. Give to Pitsenberger, and Pitsenberger gets down inside the 20 to the nine. Talking about. So third down, and flag comes in. Bulldogs. And they give to Pitsenberger. He got five of it. He's got ten of it. He's looking for more. Pitsenberger will be first and trying to keep their hopes of an Ivy title alive. Pitsenberger gets the call. He gets a few yards and then driven back. It'll be second and goal from on second and goal. It's Pitsenberger again. And Pitsenberger fighting, grinding, and forcing his way. Going to take the lead in this critical Ivy League game. And Pitsenberger into the end zone. 
Bosman on to attempt the extra point. His boot is up, and it is good. Go, and so far, it's been apparent on the field. Switched out to Jadaris Carr, the soft. And again, keeping it on the ground. Establish some balance using the run. Stenstrom to the air this time. And it is his. They'll pitch it to him this time. And Yosivash will trust their running ability in addition to their, their pass catching ability. Stenstrom, all kinds of time going deep down the sidelines. Got his man, and he is going to go in. Said being assisted off the field right now. Jeffrey Sexton, the place kicker out of Louisville, Kentucky. It's are less than 10% of the yeah, game. Yeah, it's an inordinate. It was out of whack. And everything in the interest of player safety. Each of that jersey. First and 20 now for the Bulldogs. Grooms, play flake throws out incomplete. He was looking for Jack system that came through. Or now... Not obstructing the sun from beaming down on the turf field at the bowl. The handoff to Trey Peterson, and he'll pick okay. third and 13. Fake to Peterson. Swings it out to David Pantelis. Pantelis is still on his feet, stretching forward. He'll come up a few yards. <laughs> Does a nice job of getting the punt off. A.J. Barber. If you recognize the last new with the, uh, with. Um, Princeton, and, and he joined us in the booth. It was great talking with Tiki. I've known him for a lot of years, but it's fun seeing. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Seven and change left. First half. Complete to number seven. Keep the numerology going. Second and six from the 45. Fake the handoff. Stenstrom keeping himself again, and he's going to get it. It's been a few minutes since we called his name. They fake to him. They swing it and complete the quick pass and a move, but it's a first down for Princeton and still spinning. The Tigers receiver, who is as good as a running back, just gives you a little bit of a juke. Got the shoulder. Then fires it complete to Dylan. Quarterback play by Blake Stenstrom. Completing 80% of his passes Coming so back. far. And here is Princeton with the trickery, and it's not going to work for them. With a win, clinches at least a share of the title. All kinds of time. Throws middle, complete, and it is a new play. The extra point is up. Nolan Grooms. Fake to Pitsenberger, has to be elusive and can. He can do that. It's Pitsenberger and Pitsenberger doing what he does. Close to 50 yards. This is Grooms keeping it, finding the angle, and second and six under three and a half to go in the half. Pitsenberger. And he'll get up to the 45 yard line. Set. But the patience, the vision to wait for that play to develop. And from our broadcast partner back when we did radio, Carm Coza would have loved. You're absolutely right. Nolan Grooms. They fake. Grooms is averaging over six yards a carry today. This time they do give it to Peterson. And we'll get the ball first in the second half. So they're looking to do the long drive score and then four minutes. And Princeton would like to keep them from scoring. Grooms. Hawes, ha, hit so hard, the helmet. Grooms looking to throw quickly as it collapses, and he'll scoot forward, and he's got a guy dragging him down, and he, with like a restrictor plate on him, he gets down inside. Almost five. See if they can pin Princeton back. Angling for the right sideline. So Stenstrom drills it. Boy, he has that quick release, and he puts oomph on it. And that'll move it up quickly to the 21. Was an All-American at Stanford, played in the NFL for a couple of years, so you know where that comes from. And he'll get 50. So, Stenstrom, one of the few plays he's had guys in his face, the pass is tipped, and... 11 sacks, so far five sacks in this season. He's a terror on the defensive line. Stenstrom swings it out and completes it. Princeton to punt, pressure came. Good job getting it off, takes a bounce. It was a nice job by Will Powers. And here's the Yale the junior out of Lake Wiley, South Carolina. Gives the handoff to Trey Peterson. And Peterson is going to be wrapped up for no game. For the Bulldogs' first drive of the half. This time, Grooms fake to Peterson. Keeps himself. No slide this time. Lowers that. And he's got Peterson to his left. Peterson gets the call this time. And he gets wrapped up behind the line. Of you get the sense Princeton keyed in on run at halftime and knew what they had to try and work on as the punt is going to take a very fake. Looking to keep their undefeated season going, looking to clinch at least a share of an Ivy title. 
which they've won a lot of recently under. Stenson takes, throws quickly, and that <laughs> classy slips it backwards to Barber, and uh, it looks Yale has a chance to have a short field, and they will. Look at that. Pitzenberger had the fake. He got tackled. Grooms still hasn't been tackled. Nolan Grooms, elusive running through the Princeton secondary. Nolan Grooms on the first play. Who's barking the signals and takes. Pass is tipped and caught for a touch. He's on to it coming down. Great touchdown for Yale. Chase He's run for 92 yards, passed for 64 so far today. Stenstrom, he can get it done with his feet too. <laughs> This is Barber on the quick completion, and Barber gets tied on an inside bubble screen. Which is out in decent numbers. Stenstrom on the, on the fake and the pitch, and the ball's on the ground, and it's going to be picked up by Prince. ...to concentrate on getting one hand out to try to get his hands on the ball. Grooms looking in. They want to break the tie. Here's the handoff to Peterson. And Peter, those great captains in these times, that really says something. It really does. Here's the handoff to Peterson. Peterson. Weaving his way, picking his way. There's a second down and four for the Bulldogs. Grooms, quick throw, swing, an immediate hit, and that is going to be 43, 40, called a 44 yarder. He can kick from that far. That kick is up in the air. These two teams meet. Stenstrom, quick throw, and finding a bit of a hole through there on the far sideline. An effective part of the arsenal. See it again. Good old number nine, and he will give a stiff arm. Certainly a passing look here with shotgun empty. Quick pass drilled complete. That's Ant and bobbled it. Pressure coming. Avoids the pursuit. Spun away from it. And now he's going to try and make something happen, and he will. Right the Tigers just outside of midfield. And give the handoff. Stenstrom. We've seen them make some big plays to connect before and keep things going. Here the pass is one-hopped in. And flag comes in on this punt. Fair catch is called for. They're lining themselves back up off the line of scrimmage. Here's the handoff to Pitzenberger, and Pitzenberger, that's the type of running. Who can do it? So second and two. Fake, Grooms, and he will. Grooms can... Get it himself, slicing through and making a man miss to the outside. Groom with a three-point lead. Pitsenberger, the Bethesda, Maryland freshman. Look at the patient. They fake the handoff to Peterson, and look at the seam. It opens up for Grooms, who's into the... Here was the extra point. Hale's been doing it. Now the question is, what can the defense do against this explosive? Offense. Quick swing out to right. Barber, and he is ganged up on. And so, Stenstrom again, not as much room in that. Powers did a nice job getting that punt off. It's taken by Lindley, who does not call. They develop their players, and he's had that especially with his quarterbacks. Here's Grooms to the ground again, and Grooms. Um, if they win today and win at Harvard, they will get at least that share of the title. As Peterson on the carry gets. You could tell. He was thinking run. That was his first option on that play. And a touchdown, a 49-yarder. Here's the swing pass out to Lindley, and he is Princeton deep. A boomer from Bosman, and that is going to sail out of the second quarter. Yeah. They're not used to that. Stenstrom's wobbler is caught by Classy. Looking to erase a 10-point deficit. Stenstrom with time again. Classy again. And it's back and forth, and it's a tight fourth quarter. Expect anything else? Here's Stenstrom running free, and Stenstrom getting a frames. He's closing in on that number just today. Here he steps up, throws it, completes it. His man's got room, and Princeton is going to be. And Carson Bobo. Sexton's extra point is blocked, and the lead. Pitsenberger again, and he'll get with that run. Yale hopes he's got at least one more in him as they give it to him this time, 
and he gets. Here's the handoff to Trey Peterson, and Peterson out across the four. And he's been in the Ivy League for a long, long time. Grooms on a design keep. Look at him running like snap the ball this time. With a four-point lead, Pitsenberger back in. He gets the call. Like they're coming, and they are. Here's Grooms avoiding it for the moment. Spins, still on his feet, gets across midfield, but tackled. Maybe put a little more finesse on this one and try, and he does, and that's the risk of putting a little more yeah. finesse is it might go out of bounds that's... 69 yards away from the lead. They try the trickery Whoa. again. Stenstrom makes it work, throws income on the line. Down for Princeton. Stenstrom throws it. And keeping our baseball going. That was a Sunfield over there, too, he had to contend with. And here's Stenstrom <laughs> running and getting down to the 40. He is in the backfield for the Tigers. They fake to him. Stenstrom, pocket collapsing. He's got to be brought down through the sophomore from Belleville, Illinois. Stenstrom runs into a pancake situation. Fourth and 20. Stenstrom looking left side. Picked off. Intercepted by the Bulldogs at the 10. It's Ben again. Brandon Ben still on his feet out across the 40. And is going to be tackled up at the cross the 45 yard line up at the 47. Brandon Ben. After the Ben interception and long return, Grooms on first down gets across on the numbers. So here's the handoff to Pitsenberger. Grooms keeps it himself and gets down to the 40 yard line. Basically, yes. Grooms. <laughs> Maybe gave a half second thought of a throw. Look, flags come in. Far from done. That could change if Yale gets the first down here. Grooms is not going to be able to with huge stakes. How will it play out to the finish? The punt will go out of the back of the sun drawer. Stenstrom quickly. Classy. Classy. Gets the first down to the 30 or 90 seconds. Now they're 70 yards away. Stenstrom might have gotten deflected. No matter. Yale dropping all sorts of guys back into coverage. Still putting pressure, getting Stenstrom out of the pocket. He throws underneath a very extra body just to get some pressure on Stenstrom. Fourth and here four. Here it comes, here it comes. Complete to class picks. He takes. Does he have a comeback in him? Completes it. Underneath to Yosiva. Right, to get in the end zone. Third and three. Completes it for the first down, but it's over the middle. Stenstrom steps, throws, right side. Clap. So much comes down to this play. Stenstrom, end zone, incomplete. And you know, this is what's great about this game.